I would like to start and state up front to encourage you to think of museums differently. Do not get caught by a prejudiced image of museums as a static display and crowded exhibition rooms. Museums can act as a translator both for culture and for research. They are trusted spaces in which you can communicate new ideas and present them differently than you would uh, do so to, for example, the community uh, of scientists themselves. We have come up with a new format to communicate science in the making, science that is happening uh, right now. We focus on the scientific process itself rather than the content. We established an open science laboratory in the museum in which researchers from the universities, especially PhD students and master students, perform part of their duties uh, in the museum. The visitors get to see live research at a museum, which usually is hidden in the university. And the scientists, the young scientists, have a chance on to think about how to communicate to a large public and to really develop why their research is important and make it matter to a large audience. For working with museums, uh, my first uh, tip would be to visit as many places as possible, that scientists themselves go and see different formats, different exhibitions, to get an idea what could be the best practices for their ideas to spread. Uh, the second is to start early in the process to contact uh, staff in the museums to start this dialogue as some might be surprised how long the timescales for developing uh, formats can be. They range between six months to up to three years. And third and uh, lastly, uh, to use what the scientists are already using in their everyday lives. The enthusiasm, the passion, also the endurance and stamina, but also um, the patience to develop such a, uh, such a project together with uh, museum staff.